The tank Argentino Mediano, TAM, English, Argentine Medium Tank, is the main battle tank in service with the Argentine Army. Lacking the experience and resources to design a tank, the Argentine Ministry of Defense contracted German company Thyssen Henschel. The vehicle was developed by a German and Argentine team of engineers, and was based on the German Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The TAM met the Argentine Army's requirement for a modern, lightweight and fast tank with a low silhouette and sufficient firepower to defeat contemporary armored threats. Development began in 1974 and resulted in the construction of three prototypes by early 1977 and full-scale production by 1979. Assembly took place at the local 9,600 square meter, 103,000 square feet, TAMS plant, founded for the purpose by the Argentine government. Economic difficulties halted production in 1983, but manufacturing began anew in 1994 until the Army's order of 200 tanks was fulfilled. The TAM series includes seven different variants, such as a 155mm, 6.1-inch, self-propelled howitzer and a self-propelled mortar vehicle. In total, over 280 such vehicles were built including armored personnel carriers, artillery, and mortar pieces. The TAM and VCTP, infantry fighting vehicles based on the TAM chassis, were manufactured for the Peruvian Army, only to be integrated into the Argentine Army when Peru cancelled the contract. The TAM also competed for other export orders, but the TAM was ultimately not exported. The TAM has never seen combat although 17 VCTP were deployed to Croatia for the United Nations UNPROFOR peacekeeping mission. Development During the 1960s Argentina sought to replace its aging fleet of tanks, which included British Sherman V Firefly tanks and American M3A1 half-tracks dating from shortly after the Second World War. In their attempts to procure equipment from the United States, Argentina could only secure 50 M41 Walker Bulldogs, undelivered and 250 M113 armored personnel carriers. When the United States turned down requests for further equipment, the Argentine government turned to the other side of the Atlantic, putting their Plan Europa, Plan Europe, into action. It was hoped that European technology could stimulate Argentine industry so the country could produce its own armaments in the future. Argentina procured 80 AMX-13 light tanks, as well as 180 AMX Vesis and 24 AMX 155 F3S, from the French government, manufacturing around 40 AMX 13S and 60 AMX Vesis at home. The French AMX 30 and German Leopard 1 were also examined as possible replacements for the Argentine Sherman fleet. In 1973 the Argentine Ministry of Defense drew up a series of requirements for a tank to enter service in the 1980s. The armored vehicle would weigh no more than 30 tons, 29.5 long tons, 33.1 short tons, move at a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, 43 miles per hour, and cover at least 500 km, 310 miles, on roads. It would be armed with a modern 105 mm main gun, two machine guns, and grenade launchers. The tank designers also had to take into account Argentina's existing infrastructure, including railroad capacity, bridges and road capacity, as well as the country's varied terrain. In late 1973 the Proyecto de Tank Argentino Mediano, Medium Argentine Tank Project, was founded with the goal of designing and developing a tank for the Argentine Army. Lacking the experience and the necessary technology, the Argentine government sought collaboration with a foreign company, resulting in a contract with the German company Thyssen Henschel. The contract called for a transfer of technology resulting in a program to develop a tank in line with the government's requirements and under a technical team that included both German and Argentine engineers. The hull of the German Martyr armored personnel carrier was used, and the chassis was strengthened to support the increased weight of the TAM. Two prototypes were manufactured in late 1976 and early 1977, which were put through extensive testing for two years and over a road range of 10,000 km miles. Simultaneously, 
another prototype was manufactured to further the investigation of the new vehicle and complete the three prototypes as agreed in the contract. The new tank's firepower requirements were met by fitting a British Royal Ordnance L7A1 105mm, 4.13 inch, main gun. This gun was later replaced by the modified L7A2 and finally by Rheinmetall's RH 10530 105mm, 4.13 inch, gun. This gun is manufactured in Argentina as the FMK.4 Modelo 1L. The RH 10530S advantages include low weight, compact size, and increased lethality. Unlike the RH 10530, the FMK.4 does not have a muzzle brake. The locally built cannon can be elevated to 18 degrees or depressed to minus 7 degrees on the TAM. The gun's hydraulic recoil mechanism has an extended range of 580 mm, 22.8 inches, to absorb the 34 ton, 33 long ton, 37 short ton, recoil force. It is designed to fire the M735A1 armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot which can penetrate a maximum of 370 mm, 14.6 inches, at 1,000 m, 1,100 yd. It can also fire high-explosive anti-tank rounds, high-explosive squash head and smoke rounds. The tank's secondary armaments include a coaxial 7.62 mm, 0.30 inch, FN Mag 60 to 40 general purpose machine gun and a second FN Mag 60 to 20 mounted on the TAMS turret roof as an anti aircraft machine gun. The fire control system includes a ND YAG laser with a range of 9,900 meters, 32,480 feet, and a flare HG ballistic computer to compute the gun's fire solutions, helping the gunner aim and hit the target. The tank commander uses a Zeiss Perry R slash top panoramic periscope with the 2x and 8x zoom. The TAMS engine requirements included low weight and volume, but with a fast rate of acceleration and high reliability. The program chose MTU's MB833 Ka 500 diesel engine, producing 540 kilowatts, 720 HP, at 2400 RPM. This gives the TAM a power to weight ratio of 24 horsepower per ton and a maximum speed of 75 km per hour, 47 miles per hour, on road and 40 km per hour, 25 miles per hour, off road. With a 680 liter, 180 U.S. gallon, 150 Imperial gallon, internal fuel tank, the TAM can travel 500 km, 310 miles. Its range is extended to 900 km, 560 miles, if the vehicle is equipped with two 200 liter, 53 US gal, 44 imp gal, external fuel tanks. The TAMS transmission is a Rank HSWL204 automatic, with a hydrodynamic torque converter. A double brake system includes hydraulic disc brakes on the road wheels, and the suspension is a torsion bar. The TAM's survivability is related to its low-profile turret, based on that of the Leopard 1A4S and the Leopard 2, and its physical armor array. It has 50 mm, 1.97 inches, at 75 degrees on the glassy plate and 32 degrees on the vehicle's sides. This offers protection against anti-armor shells from up to 35 mm, 1.38 inch, guns. The turret front is protected by 50 mm, 1.97 in, of steel armor at an angle of 32 degrees. Although the tank's weight and armor protection are light compared to other main battle tanks, it has the advantage of better tactical mobility over the nation's terrain. As a private venture, Thyssen Henschel built a fourth prototype designated TH-301. Completed in 1978, it added a Perry R12 periscope, originally designed for the Leopard 1A4, for the tank commander. The gunner and loader each received a day periscope as well. To enable the crew to fire effectively at night, a low-light level television, LLL TV, camera, which moved in elevation with the main gun, was fitted to the mantelet. Furthermore, the tank received a more powerful 550 kilowatts, 750 metric horsepower, engine. The improvement program also made provisions to increase the thickness of the armor for additional protection. 
In 2010, a modernization program was announced. Israeli defense contractor Elbit Systems was chosen to provide three-axis gyro stabilization, and most probably the L7A2 105mm cannon will be replaced with a more powerful 120mm cannon, like the L44 120mm cannon. The first TAM unit upgraded by Elbit Systems was delivered in March 2013. Variants A number of variants were built on the same chassis as the TAM tank. The original program called for the design of an infantry fighting vehicle, and in 1977 the program finished manufacturing the prototype of the Vehiculo de Combat Transport at a personal, personnel transport combat vehicle, or VCTP. The VCTP is able to transport a squad of 12 men, including the squad leader and nine riflemen. The squad leader is situated in the turret of the vehicle, one rifleman sits behind him and another six are seated in the chassis the 8th manning the hull machine gun and the 9th situated in the turret with the gunner. All personnel can fire their weapons from inside the vehicle, and the VCTP's turret is armed with Rhine Metals RH-202 20mm, 0.79-inch, autocannon. The VCTP holds 880 rounds for the autocannon, including sub-caliber armor-piercing DM-63 rounds. It is also armed with a 7.62mm FN Mag 60-20 machine gun mounted on the turret roof. Infantry can dismount through a door on the rear of the hull. The commander has a day sight and seven observation periscopes, while the gunner has a day sight and three observation periscopes. Variants also include the Vehiculo de Combate de Artilleria de 155mm, 155mm artillery combat vehicle, or VCA-155, and the Vehiculo de Combat Transport at a Mortero, Mortar Transport Combat Vehicle, or VCTM. The VCA-155 is an elongated TAM chassis fitted with Odo Malara's Palm Aria 155mm, 6.1-inch, self-propelled howitzer turret. It carries 28 projectiles, 23 of which are stored in the turret bustle. The VCTM carries an AM50 120mm, 4.7-inch, internal mortar, which has a range of 9,500 meters, 31,167.98 feet, and a rate of fire of 8 to 12 shots per minute. Based on the TAM chassis, the Vehiculo de Combat Puesto de Mandu, Command Combat Vehicle, or VCPC, is another variant designed in 1982. The Vehiculo de Combate Lanzaco Hetz, Rocket Launcher Combat Vehicle, or VCLC, designed in 1986, is also based on the TAM chassis and can be fitted with both 160mm, 6.3-inch, and 350mm, 13.8-inch, rockets. A Combat Ambulance, Vehiculo de Combate Ambulancia, VCA, and an Armored Recovery Vehicle. Vehiculo de Combate de Recuperation, VCRT, are other combat variants of the tank. Production Production began in 1979, with the intent to build a total of 512 armored vehicles, 200 tanks and 312 VCTP infantry fighting vehicles. Economic problems, however, ended production in 1983 with only 150 TAMs and 100 VCTPs built. These vehicles were produced by an Argentine company, Tank Argentino Mediano Sociedad del Estado, or TAMS, founded by the government in March 1980. 70% of the TAMS components were manufactured in Argentina, while the 30% manufactured in Germany corresponded to the transmission, optics, and fire control system. In 1983, 20 TAMs and 26 VCTPs were delivered to the Argentine Army after an original order of 80 TAMs by Peru was cancelled due to budgetary issues. In 1991, TAMs and the TAM production line were shut down, although in 1994 TAMs was reactivated to complete an order for 120 of both TAMs and VCTPs to replace the M4 Shermans in the 2nd Armored Cavalry Brigade of the Argentine Army. By 1995 the Argentine Army was equipped with 200 TAM tanks and 216 VCTP and VCPC armored vehicles. 
Although 25 VCA 155S were originally planned for production starting in 1990, only 19 were completed and delivered by 1995, along with 50 VCTMs. No other variants of the TAM, including the VCLC, VAC, and VCRT were put into production due to budget restrictions. The TAM's plant is a 9,600 square meter, 103,300 square feet, facility. The factory is completely covered, with two warehouses for storing components, quality control laboratories, a project office, an engine test room and a firing range. Also participating in the production of TAM and variant components were Argentine companies military factories General San Martin, manufacturing the chassis, Rio Tercero, turret and armament, and Bader Cockies, S.A. Export and Combat History The TAM has never been exported, although a number of nations were interested in buying it. In 1981, Malaysia signed a contract for 102 vehicles of the TAM family, including the tank, VCTP, and VCRT, renaming these Lion, Tiger, and Elephant, respectively. None of these vehicles were delivered and Malaysia chose instead to procure Poland's PT-91. In mid-1983, Peru established a contract for 80 TAMs. Due to budgetary problems the order was cancelled after 20 tanks had been completed. A similar order was established by Panama in 1984, and was cancelled as well. In 1989 the TAM competed in a tank procurement order from Ecuador alongside the American Stingray light tank, the Austrian SK-105 Carassier and the French AMX-13-105 light tank. The TAM achieved 950 out of 1,000 points, while its closest competitor earned 750 points, but in the end Ecuador did not procure any of the vehicles presented. In the Middle East, both Iran and Saudi Arabia expressed interest in the TAM. The Iranian deal fell through after Saudi Arabia and Iraq successfully appealed to Germany to cancel the order. TAMS attempted to sell 60 tanks through a Panamanian company, Agrometal, offering this company a commission worth 10% of the contract's price. This failed when TAMS lowered the price of the vehicles, angering the Iranian government, which subsequently cancelled the offer. The Saudi Arabian deal was scrapped when Israel appealed to Germany to cancel the order. Failing to export the tank, the Argentine government closed the TAM's fabrication plant in 1995. The TAM did not participate in the Falklands War, as it had not entered service before the end of the conflict. Seventeen VCTPs were deployed with an Argentina battalion to Yugoslavia during United Nations peacekeeping operations. Users Argentina Argentine Army Type Main Battle Tank Place of origin Argentina, Germany Service history In service 1983 present Used by Argentina Production history Unit cost 1,500,000 US dollars, 1983 export price Produced 1979-1991, 1994-1995 No built 280 Specifications Weight 30.5 tons, 30.0 long tons, 33.6 short tons. Length 6.75 m, 22 feet 2 in. Width 3.25 m, 10 feet 8 in. Height 2.42 m, 7 feet 11 in. Crew 4. Main. Armament. 105 mm, 4.13 in. FMK.4 Modelo 1L Secondary Armament 2 x 7.62 mm, 0.30 in, machine gun Engine MTUMB 833 Ka 506 cylinder 22.4 L, 1370 cu in, diesel 540 kW, 720 HP Power slash weight 24 HP slash ton. Suspension torsion bar. Operational. Range. 590 kilometers, 370 miles, 800 kilometers, 500 miles, with auxiliary fuel tanks. Speed 75 kilometers per hour, 
47 miles per hour. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.